Okay, now it is time to turn the raster analysis that you have done into something that we can look at as a three-dimensional scene. The first thing that I recommend you do is you create a new local scene by going up here to map, oh, to insert, excuse me, and then create a new map and go down to new local scene. And it will generate a scene as a new tab down here, which I've already done. And then once you've created that new scene, take the raster hillshade and the contour, you'll have to do it one at a time, and simply copy that, go to the scene and then paste it. And you're gonna be pasting it underneath a new group layer and make sure that those new group layers are posted so that they um, are in the right order so that you can see the contours on top of the hillshade. You might have to move them around a little bit. Once you've done that, you should have a scene that will allow you to rotate three-dimensionally and take a look at how this whole area looks. And we're just testing it. And you can see I also brought in one of the vector layers here just to see how it laid on top of that. Once you're pretty sure that things are working well, go back to the map. Okay, when you're at the map, now what you're going to do is you're going to share these and you're going to share it to your ArcGIS online account. So I'm gonna go there quickly. You haven't used your ArcGIS account very much, but eventually you're going to be creating a new scene where, and I'm right here in the new scene area, but I'll get out of that and I'll go back to my ArcGIS home. And this information that you're going to be creating, or this layer that you're going to be creating, is going to end up in your content area right here. So click on the content area, and if you want to, you can create some extra um, folders here. Though you guys will have such a small amount of data here, likely, that you can just put it right into the main account. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but if you want to, you can create a new folder over here. And this is just like a cloud-based storage for all this ArcGIS online stuff. Then you're going to go both to Contours, and then after you're finished, to the Hillshade. And you're going to right-click on it, and you are going to go to Sharing. And you are going to share this as a web layer. This is going to bring up a new dialog box here called Sharing, Sharing as a Web Layer. And you are going to have to give it a name, you're going to have to write something in the summary and something in the tags as well. You could just write in the tags something like elevation model or terrain, doesn't matter in the summary, a quick little description of what it is you're looking at. And then you are going to save this as a tile. And then once you've saved it as a tile, um, you should be able to make sure that it's shared with everyone and you can select the folder that you want to put it in as well. Click that, and it's going to take a little bit to process it, but eventually that's going to show up in your ArcGIS online account. Do that for both the hill shades and the contours. Now, go back to ArcGIS online. So here we are in ArcGIS online. Now you want to go to the Scene tab up here. And when you're at the Scene tab, you are going to be, obviously, creating a new scene. And in that new scene, you are simply going to add layers. And you're going to go and have to search for those layers then. Um, they should end up, um, they should be relatively easy to find, although there's no guarantee of that. Um, sometimes I've had problems with this. Just say, <clears throat> add to scene. And then once you have added it to the scene, it should take you right down to that area and put that layer on top. And now I'm going to add the UMED contours and add that to the scene as well. That's layered on top. Now you can go and modify the layers if you want to um, by going over here and you can move them around. Um, there's also a legend here. The legend doesn't show you very much because it just shows contours and hill shape. But if you've created another raster layer, say a slope analysis, um, you can have the legend from that slope analysis there. And when you're done with this new scene, um, you have to go ahead and then save the new scene. And I'm going to actually leave the scene and go and get the scene that I've already created so I don't have two of the same thing here. 
So let me go back to content here. <clears throat> and find my new web scene, which is called the UMED sample. And I'm going to open it in Scene Viewer. And of course, you may need to do this too as you go back and forth to it. Um, this scene now it should be, you should be able to interact with it. And if I go in here, I should be able to use, um, <clears throat> by clicking on the right or the left um, a button on my mouse, I should be able to rotate this and look at it just like you would, um, just like you did the local scene before. Um, you might also want to change from the base map so that it goes to an image. Um, that usually looks a little bit better, in my opinion, for this sort of thing, but it's really your opinion, your, you know, um, your decision what you want to do. And of course, you can turn these layers off to, to visualize them this way. Now, again, it's not super exciting here because we're in an urban area. There's not a lot of relief. If you're a mountainous area, um, you'll get much more interesting things to look at. Um, when you have made it the way you want it, and if you added any other layers here, that's great. Um, then go to the sharing right here and click on share and share it as, as a short link. So make sure that you have that clicked. If you don't, it will be this long, unruly address. Um, copy that and that's what you are going to share to me in the comment box in Blackboard when you submit your written assignment. And as always, I am happy to help you with any questions you might have.